begin by finding a comfortable posture for you and your body tonight. Maybe it's sitting on a cushion or a chair. Maybe it's lying down. Maybe it's standing. Any posture is fine, but find one that feels comfortable for you right now. And feel that posture, feel the comfort that comes with that position. Being supported by the ground, by your chair or cushion. Settling into that comfort. And from here, allow your body to relax. Notice if there's muscular tension present anywhere in your body, perhaps in your jaw or your shoulders, or your arms, your hands, your legs, your feet. If you find that there's tension anywhere in your body, Invite those parts of your body to relax, to loosen, to let go of that tension. They may or may not be willing to relax at this time. But see if you can invite that relaxation. if you are able to relax to any extent, enjoy that relaxation. Even if it's small, really enjoy it. Settle into this comfortable, relaxed posture. And from here, Invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Just a small, gentle, easy smile. It doesn't have to be a huge grin, an enormous smile. Just a little smile, bringing that to your face and seeing if you can maintain it for the whole practice period. When you physically cause your mouth to smile, different chemicals are released in your nervous system that move you towards happiness. We wanna invite and allow that process for metta practice. And again, notice if there's any enjoyment that comes from bringing this smile to your face. See if it feels good, even a little bit. And if it does, really enjoy it. 
in just the same way that you've been enjoying the comfort and relaxation in your body. Enjoy this smile. See if you can maintain this configuration of your body for the whole practice period, specifically being comfortable, relaxed, with a gentle, easy smile on your face. If at any time you become uncomfortable or tight, or you find that your smile has faded, you can simply reestablish yourself here. As much as possible, we want the body to feel good during metta practice. So establish yourself here. And having prepared the body for metta practice, begin to prepare the mind. Consider, reflect on different aspects of your life that you're grateful for. These could be big things or small things, totally normal everyday things or very special and extraordinary things that happened to you recently. Whatever it is, reflect on different things in your life that you're grateful for. Of course, this can be hard sometimes. It might be a challenge to think of things that we're grateful for. So no problem, that's totally normal. But you can be grateful for something very simple. Like that you're breathing right now. Or maybe that you had food to eat or a place to sleep or that you can listen to this guidance. See if you can find one or more things that you're grateful for in your life at this time. As you consider and reflect on these things that you're grateful for, notice if there's any response in the emotional body. Perhaps your smile increases or a sense of warmth comes over you. A bubbling of joy. If anything like that happens, if the gratitude surges in your body, Notice that and savor it. As much as possible, we want to really enjoy 
every bit of pleasure, delight, love that we can during metta practice, even if they're small. Notice how this gratitude makes you feel and really enjoy it. Very good. Now bring to mind someone that's easy for you to love. It could be a person or an animal. It could even be imaginary. Just imagining a puppy or a kitten or a baby. Those are some good options, but it could really be anyone. Close loved one or friend or family member. Someone that you feel very warm towards, a lot of love for. Anyone at all that fits that description. Visualize this person or animal in your mind, perhaps imagining them at a time when they were particularly happy. A big smile on their face, laughing, Visualize them in a way that makes you feel happy, makes you feel love for them. Whoever it is. as you visualize them in your mind. If you'd like, you can speak phrases towards this person or animal. Phrases of love and care. Like, all I want is for you to be happy. May you be so happy. Or, Hope you're enjoying yourself right now, wherever you are. Or I feel so much love for you. Any phrase will do. Doesn't really matter so much what phrase you use. In the same way that it doesn't matter so much what image you use. The important thing is that it resonates for you right now. Whether you're using images in your mind or mental talk, different phrases, find some way to direct love towards this person. To cultivate an attitude of love and care and friendliness towards this person that's easy for you to love. Cultivate that for a few moments.
as you cultivate this attitude of love and care towards this person or animal. Notice if there's any response in the body. If there's any increase in feelings of love or care. Warmth or joy in your emotional body. Notice that and really enjoy it. You're cultivating love for this other person, but you can enjoy that too. It's a wholesome form of delight. So really enjoy it. Continue to cultivate an attitude of love and care for this person or animal for another moment. Very good. In a moment, we'll switch who we're directing this love towards. But if there are any feelings of love or care that you've cultivated in your emotional body, allow those to continue and even to grow. Even as we change who we're directing this love towards, we can allow this love to grow in our body. Bring to mind someone in your life that's an acquaintance, a neutral person, someone who you don't know very well, who's not a particularly close friend and not an enemy either. Perhaps someone that you see at work but don't know very well. Someone in the grocery store that you go to. Someone you passed on the street today. It could even be someone in this Zoom call that you don't know very well. Just an acquaintance, someone that is in your life, but you're not particularly close to. You don't have many feelings for positive or negative, just someone. Choose someone that you'd like to work with. And again, cultivate an attitude of friendliness or love towards this person. You can do this by visualizing them being happy in your mind or by using mental talk phrases to direct love towards them. Both of these are excellent options. You can even use both if you like both image and talk. Anything is fine. Whatever you decide to do, however you decide to do it, cultivate an attitude of love and friendliness 
towards this acquaintance, this neutral person. Even though you're not particularly close to them, this person also wants to be happy, is also worthy of happiness. See if you can wish that for them. May you be so happy. May you be filled with happiness and love. May you have all of the joy and love that you deserve. Cultivate an attitude of friendliness and love towards this acquaintance. As you cultivate this attitude of love and friendliness and care towards this acquaintance, see if there's any response in the emotional body. See if you can feel that love, feel that care, feel the friendliness. Oh, I don't know this person very well, but all they want is to be happy. May it be so. May they feel as happy as they possibly can. If thinking of thoughts like that or having images in your mind of this person being happy makes you happy, notice that and enjoy it. doesn't matter so much what image you use or what phrases you use in your mind. Any image will do, any phrase or talk will do, so long as it helps you cultivate a felt sense of love and care towards this person. You can experiment and be playful, trying different images, trying different phrases, Noticing what works for you, what really causes your body to respond and resonate.
if you'd like, you can stay with the same acquaintance for the whole practice period, or you can switch to a new acquaintance, or even direct this love and friendliness towards many different people. It's all good. Very good. Now take a moment to look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? Were there any challenges? Any insights that you had? Take a moment to consider and reflect on what this practice period was like for you. As you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation period. 